Alrighty, hello guys, Alchemy me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are doing the five workshop creations. These creations aren't necessarily from the top of the workshop. They're not necessarily from the bottom of the workshop, but I believe all of these ones that we're testing today could make it to the top. Now this one has literally just been released, so I figured we'd give it a go. Uh, I've seen it on the Steam, um, no, on the Stoneworks Discord quite a bit, and it's finally here for us to actually test out. So we're going to test this first. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so this thing right here is called the Rail Runner High Rail Railroad Service Truck. That is a bit of a tongue twister, but uh, yeah, we got there eventually. Anyway, this thing isn't by itself. Um, we're going to go ahead and drive it over to the railroad, and I'll show you guys the, uh, the attachments for it as well. So let's drive over there, and um, yeah, this will be good. So this is only creation one of five. Obviously, there is going to be uh, four more after this. Hopefully, uh, we're good. <laughs> Hopefully, we're able to use it. Anyway, ignition goes on. There we go. Let's go and turn on the dome light. And drive. Let's go. So, if we throttle up, we go ahead and up a gear. It's not an automatic gearbox. It is a manual. Well, semi-automatic, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're in second gear. Let's go and drive it to the railroad. And I'll show you guys the two attachments for it straight away. Now, you do want to stay tuned because there are a few other creations in this that are actually really, really awesome as well. Uh, one of them is a self-landing rocket, so if you want to see that, stay tuned! Oh, I've just, uh, I've just damaged this thing to, uh, to, yeah, okay, I've damaged it by accident. So, apparently going over bumps and stuff like that, it doesn't like doing it very quickly, because, uh, it's likely to hit the floor, uh, with the rear bit. That's, um, an issue, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, we'll get it over to where it needs to be, and then we'll go ahead and fix it. I need to lower some gears. Lower the gears! All right, put it in first so it actually moves. Yeah. Keep driving. Come on. We got this. Okie dokie. So we are now at the rail yards. We have ourselves a fuel car and we also have a, a service slash maintenance uh, truck too. Or car as well. So these are actually only railway carriages. They stay on the rails. But you can attach this onto them, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get it onto the track. There you go. Oh, we've automatically attached on, interestingly enough. Let's go ahead and stop it right there, get outside, and um, fix our vehicle, because it's currently broken. But yeah, go ahead and grab one of these, fix this up. There we go, that was really quick. And push these guys into it, let's go. We should be able to push it forwards. So it attaches, and then we should be able to drive it along the rails uh, completely fine, which, uh, honestly, very nice idea. Yeah, there we go, right, we're attached on. Excellent. Let's go get inside. And get this thing moving. So, close the door. Yes. Um, I don't know how I managed to attach onto the track straight away. Railroad use only. It's not seemingly doing anything. I don't know why it didn't do anything, but it, it didn't seem to do anything. Uh, right, so we got the rail wheels right here. They are lowered. Oh, I, I must have accidentally lowered these. Or maybe it spawns with them down. I'm not sure. But anyway, we are actually driving... On the railroad now. Let's see what happens here. Going around a little bend. Seems completely fine. That's awesome. Alright. Let's go into another gear. Try and get this thing going a little bit faster. Currently going. 40, 50 kilometers an hour. 52. Alright. Increase the gears. There you go. Now we're going 70 kilometers an hour. Awesome. Almost 80. Let's go ahead and increase the gear now. Alright. Now we're going almost 100 kilometers an hour. This is round a bend. Probably not the best way or the best place to be doing this, but there you go. That's pretty awesome. Let's go and turn on the warning lights and the headlights and uh, the red markers. We don't want them on the front, but we do want them on the rear. Probably not the spotlight. There you go. That is amazing, actually. That's super, super cool. Oh, wow. It is going fast now. So I lowered the gear because it seemed to be struggling while going around the corner. Uh, this might actually come off the tracks here. This is going very, very fast. Uh, which is kind of ridiculous, but yes, it is working very, very nicely. Let's get it to the next station, which is just around the corner. We'll detach these guys, and then hopefully, we'll detach the wheels as well, and actually drive the truck away. I don't know whether that's going to work, but we're going to try it. Alright, we're getting very close to where we need to be. Let's go ahead and throttle down a little bit. Let's do this. There you go. And uh, put it into first. That's okay. So we're trying to slow it down using the gears. That's alright. We're going to go ahead and leave these guys right here. Actually, let's go ahead and stop. There we go. And then hopefully we can detach the rails. So if we do this... Oh, wow. 
Interesting. All right, do that again. Hang on. So put them back on the track real quick. Yes. Let me get outside and detach the actual carriages. There you go. The rail cars have now been detached. Excellent. And then we're going to get back inside. Hopefully detach it from the tracks and go from there. So here we go. Yeah. So they twist off and raise straight away. Excellent. And now we're detached. We can just drive it all by ourselves. That's excellent. There's no way out for it here, but we can drive it along the track if we need to. That's excellent. That is actually so, so good. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and lower these down while we're moving. Hopefully we can attach ourselves back on. There we go. Excellent. What is this? Switch to railroad use only. Oh, so it works like a train. Interesting. Okay. Increase the, uh, the gears. There you go. So we're now at 100 and... Oh, wow. We're going quick. Let's go ahead and increase the gear to fourth. How many gears do we have? Only four. Okay. So we're going like 140 kilometers an hour. Is that like 90 miles an hour? Something like that? That's crazy. How awesome is that? That's so cool. Anyway, I don't want to spend all day on this one creation. So what we're going to do is skip over to the next one uh, and leave... The what in the world? Have we just started going a million miles an hour? Look you know how fast we're going. Hot diggity dog. Uh, but yeah, we can't spend all day on one creation. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, shall we? Okie dokie, so this is the second creation that we will be testing out today. This is called the Transporter Self-Landing Rocket. Uh, it looks absolutely awesome. I haven't tested it out yet, so uh, we're going to see how it works. But um, yeah, look at it. It is so crazy. I don't know how you get inside either, so we're going to have to figure that out first. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. Call lift. Oh wow, that's a lift. Interesting. Oh wow, it's fast as well. That is really fast. Uh, we now need to jump up onto said lift, just like this. And then we should be able to get this thing going upwards. Uh, D? U. There you go. Alright, cool. Yeah, we're going up and inside. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Nice! It even slows down as it gets to the top and to the bottom. Okay, right. This looks amazing. Look at the glass on the sides. Alright, okay. Let's sit in the passenger seat, figure out where we need to go. And then, I guess it'll just go by itself. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and tuck the lift in. Uh, at the top, yep, there's no lift on the outside anymore. Very nice. Uh, call up, call down. We don't need those. We have launch. We have a generator. We have land at drone ship. We don't have a drone ship, so we're not going to do that. Cabin lights, exterior lights, instrument lights, and heater. Awesome. Oh, that's sick. Uh, where do we want to land? Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a distance to fly. Uh, we'll actually land here at Olsen Bay. I know that's like a quite a nice landing platform, so that should be good. All right, whack it in here. There you go. Excellent. And then launch. Is that it? Is it just going to go? That's crazy. If this works just like that, that's insane. But it is seemingly... It's starting to work. Okay, good. Is it going to take off? I don't know how long... Oh, it's in the sky. Okay, good. All right, so far so good. Hopefully it now changes direction and goes that way. Oh, there you go. Nice! Oh yeah, okay, so it's flying in the right direction. And then once it gets over there, it'll automatically land. That's crazy. Okie dokie, so do we have like a distance to target? We have time to target, it's only going to take 40 seconds, that's crazy. Uh, we have an altitude right here, which is 1,575. It is currently going down a little bit. Uh, and that all seems pretty good. Yeah, okay. Target distance is only 4,000 away. Let's see if that is true. Yeah, 4 kilometers. Very nice. Yeah. We even got a picture of our uh, our thrusters right there. This is... I don't know what this is showing us. Oh, this is showing us straight down. This is showing us behind. And this is showing us... I don't know what that one's showing us. I'm not sure. But we're over the island now, so we're almost there. Yeah, look at this. Let's go ahead and get rid of this while we land. And see what happens. Here we go. So it should flip into... Uh... Oh my goodness. That is crazy. We got SpaceX in this game. That's insane. But yeah, we're going down. All right, let's see how accurate this is. Also, do we have a timer to land? No. Okay. Oh, thrusters have turned themselves back on. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we seem to be going down pretty fast. Ah! Oh my goodness. It totally works. That totally works. That is insane. That is actually insane. And then once you get to your destination, you just go ahead and untuck the lift. Uh, you open up this door. 
and then you can get out. Also, there's an equipment room in this. Okay, and then there's also a sleeping area in this. How ridiculous. That is actually insane. Alright, very nice. Let's go ahead and get ourselves out of here. Uh, just like this. There you go. And how do I open it? How do I actually open this? I don't know how we open the door. Uh, let me have a look on the outside, see where the lift is. It's not there. How do I untuck it? Tuck the lift. It's not... Alright, the lift might not be coming back out. Where is it? No, the lift isn't coming back out, but everything else seems to work really, really nicely. That is insane. That is actually insane. But, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna leave this creation here. If you guys want to check out any of the creations I use, by the way, they're all gonna be linked down below. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, shall we? Okie dokie, so here it is. This is the third one in this video. This is called the Soya Valkyrie, uh, or the Soya Cargo Valkyrie. Uh, I have done a single video on this thing by itself. However, I haven't done it with the cargo, so let's go ahead and show you guys the cargo. This is the main point of this. So, we're gonna go ahead and try and load this in. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it. So, we're in the driver's seat, let's go ahead and do the ignition. Alright, let's drive it round. Okay, so far so good, kind of, kind of interesting. Here we go, it has a crab mode, so it moves sideways, interesting. So let's drive this over to here, yas, okie dokie. It's very finicky, but that's okay. So we drive it in, we lower it down, we've attached on. We can then lift it up. Okay, kind of insane, but yes, it is working. We drive it over to the location where we need it to be, which is, of course, the aircraft. And then we just load it in. Oh, is there going to be any room? This is going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. How do I line this up nicely? Am I in? No, okay. Kind of missed. Oh, kind of missed again. It's like perfect. You have to be very, very spot on with this. Otherwise, it won't work. But there you go. It's... Oh. The rail's detached on wrong. That's not right. How do I detach this? Release? There you go. They detached on wrong. But yeah, I need to like ram it in without actually lowering it down. There you go. Okay. Is that in? This seems tricky. This seems very, very tricky. Crab mode is left and right. Let me go ahead and try and do that. There you go. All right, push it in further. I can't. All right, let's just release it. Push it in like this. I can't get it. I can't get it into the, the uh, airplane. I'm trying my best. Okay, so what I would suggest with this is that these containers need to be a little bit smaller. Because honestly, look at it. It's pretty crazy. It is very, very crazy. All right, detach it from there. All right, get inside. Go ahead and push it around if we can. There you go. All right, we've turned it sideways by accident. But there's not much else I can actually do. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is it. It's in. It's in the wrong way around. Let's try and get ourselves another one and use that instead. I do want to say, though, this actual, like, uh, this vehicle itself is actually very, very easy to drive. Uh, to e it's easy to attach things onto as well, so I can actually lift things up and drive around like this. Uh, and everything actually seems very easy to use. The only problem is, the cargo door is literally the same size as the containers. Uh, and that makes it extremely difficult to actually, to do. But, uh, we're gonna try our best to put this one in properly. Here we go, raise it up, so it's about the right height. All right, we need to crab walk sideways. Here we go. Okay, it's crabbing. It's crabbing. Reverse. Crab it sideways. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. And then push it forwards and in. No. It's still extremely difficult to get it in the right place. But once you do get it in, just like this, you release it. And then you push it backwards. And that should be it. There we go. Yes. As you guys can see, totally works. Awesome. Nice. So, yeah, I'm not going to do a full video on the plane. This was a video for this loader, and honestly, works really well for its job. So, yeah, very cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, so this is actually the next creation that I wanted to use. It turns out it doesn't start with its brakes on, so it is currently careering down into a quarry. This is called the Cat Mine Truck 6x6, and uh, it seems pretty awesome. It's just it needs its brakes on at the beginning. Otherwise, you will have issues like this one. Anyway, we should be able to jump in. I don't think it's broken itself at all, so we should be good. Um, as long as we can actually get into the truck soon. Here we go. I should be able to steer it. Yep, there we go. Very nice. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and go. Starter. 
cooling fans. Is the starter on? I can't tell. It's so windy up here, it's ridiculous. Uh, we got bed lights, we got mirrors, we got handbrake. That should be on to begin with, but never mind. Uh, we have a hood. Okay, can we drive it? Can we drive it? Is the question, please? Alright, here we go. Starter's working. And... No, it keeps cutting out. We need it to actually work. Come on. Oh, we broke it. We broke it a little bit. There we go. Alright, nice. So now it seems to be working. The exhaust is a bit crazy, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, totally works. Unfortunately though, there does seem to be something wrong with the engine. And as you guys can see... Oh my god. Okay, right, that wasn't the best. So... There's definitely something wrong with the engine where it won't actually continue running, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Let me spawn it in again and see what we can do. It's rolling down the hill again. It is rolling down the hill again. Right, hold on. Starter on. Yes. Let's go ahead and put it into drive. There you go. Cooling fans. Yes. It's not. It's not. The engine isn't starting. All right, there we go. All right, good. Now the engine started. We're good. Oh, it's very drifty, though. Oh, yikes. Also, whenever I, like, stop moving... Oh, no, the engine's fully working now. The engine is actually fully working now. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, I can't do this bend. So we're going to have to put it into reverse. <laughs> <laughs> or not. I can't get it down into the mine. This is, oh, this is an issue. All right, so I've worked the handbrake on. We do still appear to be moving, but that's okay. Turn the drive on, turn that on. There we go. All right, so now we should be good to move. Alright, turn the handbrake off, turn the mirrors on, turn the bed lights on, turn the lights on. Okay, so now we can actually drive it down the hill. Yes, okay, it is actually full on working now. Uh, I do want to say, I actually really like the way this thing looks. I think it looks amazing. Um, we need to use the brakes more, otherwise we've got issues. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and release the brakes, keep it driving down. Uh, and then we need to figure out how the bed works. So we can actually lift it up like this. There you go, that's awesome. Uh, you can also actually lift this up. The cab, apparently. I don't know how that works, though. Apparently the cab lifts up and down. Not sure how that works. But it is working. Uh, the bed goes up and down. Uh, and that is exactly what you want from a dumper truck like this. So, yeah, hopefully we can actually move again. I'm struggling, though. I'm struggling to move. All right, put it in reverse. Drive backwards. Is that going to work? I don't think I can reverse. Maybe we need drive on to go backwards. I don't know. This thing is confusing me. Not gonna lie. So, as it turns out, I guess this one's just for looks then. I think it, it looks awesome. Uh, I think the way that it works is a little bit um, finicky. But maybe that's alright. Maybe a few people can actually deal with that. I, for some reason, can't. But, um, yeah. We need to start the engine again. Alright, here we go. Yeah, okay. So, it, like, it works. It's just pretty difficult to, to drive properly. But I guess that's okay. Anyway, let's try and do this bend again. Uh, I would say a mining truck probably does need to be able to get around this bend. But this one might not be able to do it. We'll see. It might be very, very close. I don't want to fall off the edge again, because that sucks when that happens. Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, literally every single time I've used this, I've drove it off the side. So maybe that's my fault, maybe it's not. I think it probably is. But, um, anyway, I want to keep it in here. It is a uh, workshop creation after all. Um, yeah, I just found it quite hard to drive. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, so the next and the final one is actually this thing right here. This is a QJ-class steam locomotive and uh, a bunch of, um, I don't know what the language is after it. But, uh, yeah, it is a, is a cool locomotive. Uh, I would say this bit looks very, very strange uh, from what I can see. I think the tender looks awesome. I think the front of it looks awesome. I just don't get why this is so empty. But, um, yeah, it is very empty back here. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump inside. See if we can get this working. Okay, you have to jump up in here. This thing is huge. It is absolutely massive. But, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and close the door. We can open this up into the tender. And we should be able to start it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all in a different language. All right, what does this do? That's lights. This is lighting the firebox. That's on. Excellent. Let's go ahead and sit in this seat. And throttle up. Okay, presumably that's brakes. I have no idea. I don't know what greedy is. Oh, I, I don't know what any of this is. But we're going to try and get it moving forwards anyway. So, that'll be good. 
We also have a button right here. Uh, that actually seems to just push this one all the way to full, which is interesting. Uh, I don't know what's going on in here. There's a bunch of pipes, there's a bunch of ropes, question mark, and also cables going around in the sky. Uh, but that's, that's fine, I guess. We're just gonna wait for this to get to 100, which is presumably the boiler pressure. Uh, then we've got the Guao Lu Wen Du. I don't know what that is. Probably the boiler temperature, question mark. Um, yeah. Then we got the Diane Hu, which is light boiler or light firebox. Interesting. Okay, we've also got this right here. Don't know what it does. So we're going to push this to full. We should start moving any second now. One of these is probably brakes, actually. I think it's probably this one is brakes. Let's go ahead and release this. There you go. That was brakes, and this is actually to go forwards. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Yes! Okay! I kind of understand it now. We're good. I don't know what a queedy is, though, so that's still an issue. But we're working. It's working. And it's motoring along. That's excellent. Okie dokie. Off we go. Is there anything on here now? Yes, there is. I don't know what any of this is. What's a sudo and what is a yali? I don't know what any of it is. I'm not sure, but it's working. So that's all that matters. Let's go ahead and try and keep increasing this. It slows itself down when it needs to, which is interesting. I think there is a electric motor in here. Yes, there's an electric motor right here pushing it along. Um, I don't know how much use the boiler is, if that's the case. Also, that has derailed back there. The the this This bogey right here is actually derailed. Look at it. It's twisting out of control. That's so weird. That's very weird. But it's working, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and try and increase it now that we're on a straight. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, um, there's not really too much to do with this thing right now, but uh, I did want to show you guys it because it looks really awesome. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys do want to check out any of the creations tested today, they'll all be linked down below. Also, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more. Also, subscribe if you want to see more as well. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.